Hello artists! This week I'm going to kind of give you an overview of the final project this school year, which is a sculpture project. We are going to be sculpting um, some recycled materials in a couple of different ways. So you have some choices as far as what you have available to you and what kind of sculpture you want to make. So there's two kinds of sculptures. There is something called um, you know, a 3D sculpture, which is normally what you think of when you think of sculpture. And so those are things like, um, you know, cats or trees or anything that, you know, you can see all the way around. That's called a, you know, traditional 3D sculpture. And then there's something called a relief sculpture where it's 3D, but then it has a flat part. So something like this, where it's coming off the page, but it is still has a flat base. Okay, so this would be called a relief sculpture. So depending on what materials you have available to you, um, you will decide whether or not you're going to be doing a relief sculpture based on a drawing or a 3D sculpture based on, um, well, also based on a drawing, but not flat. So I'm going to be showing you over the next uh, week how to do this kind of sculpting, relief sculpting with paper loops. And then um, this kind of sculpting, which is actually uh, material that is, it's like a clay that we are going to be making out of um, egg carton. But you have to have those paper egg cartons. So if your family doesn't eat eggs or they don't get the kind that have the paper cartons, you're not going to be able to do this project. And so you'll have to do the paper project instead. Um, or if you like this version better, do this one, even if you have the paper um, clay available to you. So you get to kind of make that choice and you're always going to have to choose one video or the other and you want to just stick with the same um, videos that you're working with each week. So I hope this makes sense and kind of gives you an idea of where to go from here. So uh, check out the next two slides and see what um, what materials you need to do each of the projects, and then you'll make choices going forward.